Got it. Thanks. That is where our tigress, Tara, was last sighted. It's important we try to find patterns in her roaming. Try to spot any recent bug marks and track them. Be on your guard, of course. You're on their turf now, not ours. I've been trying to call Birendatai since he was supposed to help you with the tiger and it's his area. But I guess he's on Nepali time. He's a good man. Don't count on him to show emotion and get ready for some serious grumbling. But I've seen how he is with the teenager that helps him on the farm. So I know there's a heart behind that frown. That poor kid, Manish. His family's had it rough money-wise, so now he sees Birendadai like his grandfather, I guess.
Well done. It's impressive to see your expertise as a tracker, even in terrain that was unfamiliar to you. So what have we got? What? Partially eaten livestock and a backpack only a few meters away. Could you take a closer look at the carcasses? I see. Based on how you're describing the teeth marks, I'll have to assume that was a tiger. Tara. Tigers. They sometimes eat livestock out in the wild. That's pretty common, and unfortunately, that's always a major financial problem for the owners. But now this one seems to attack animals directly next to humans, which means that she's become way too comfortable with our presence. I'm worried that we might have an urgent threat on our hands. Could you please keep following that track? I'm getting you some backup. A rainstorm? Yeah, they're a thing in the tropical climate of the Terai sometimes. But it's not monsoon season yet, so let's hope it will be a short one. What? The rainstorm has washed away the tiger's tracks. All of them. If you can't find any more tracks, that's okay. We'll just have to try something else. This could be really bad. I can't shake the feeling that Tara might become a man-eater. For what it's worth, I really appreciate you jumping right in and following through on such a dangerous assignment, even though you've only just arrived here. We couldn't have expected something like this. Hello, Asmita. Do you read? Oh, are you the new contractor? Good to meet you. My name is Birendra Maji. Ah, Birendra Dai, at last. Yes, and our new colleague has already been able to track the tiger. It attacked livestock right next to a human. Yes, I know. The backpack belongs to a young woman who lives in a village south of the river. She is fine now, but she felt the tiger wanted to attack her too. The tiger was roaming near my village today. One neighbor even thinks he saw a kichkandi, a sort of female ghost. They are all very scared, as you can imagine. You and I need to go there and help them. All right. So, all the doors are closed in the village, and there are some broken fences. Can you see anyone? Everyone in the world has heard about some of our folklore creatures, like the Yeti. I mean, it's a cool legend, and it's great for tourism. No, I'm not surprised. Would you feel safe when you see a tiger roaming just outside your window? 
But you know that I'm more worried about threats in the real world, either to animals or to us. Not some mysterious spirit that saps your life force. You know, it is good to get help from an expert at a time like this. Please take the kukri. I left it on a table near my house. Do not make fun of what we do not understand, Asmita. You know, I saw strange things when I was a young man. In the young generation, some people do not believe. But I believe that there is a world we do not see. And I pray several times a day. I made this one many years ago. I hope you will make good use of it. You know I'm not making fun of religion, Brindadai. But I find some of these folklore stories a bit hard to believe. Do you want to test it? I am sure you can find some weeds to cut in the village. It will also make the village look a bit more like normal.